welcome back to tech story series 4 in this series we will learn gmail smart reply that is built up on machine learning and natural language processing nlp so by the way you are learning this tech story with madan upadhyay and i am on a mission to reskill 1 million project managers on rpa and ai that's great so let's get started let me ask you a question what comes to your mind when you see the smart reply the small buttons at the end of your each email what comes to your mind what the technology is driving by the gmail so let's think about a moment and understand by a a small story in the bob's life bob is a support engineer and he walks into it help desk today it's 5 30 in the evening and now it's time to leave the office and now he's thinking just to rush and catch a 5 20 pm metro and he started rushing and he is in a crowded market and all of a sudden he gets an email and it's stating it's a p1 ticket and video streaming server is not approachable and it's very urgent Please acknowledge and respond immediately. And Bob has no other choice rather than halting for a couple of minutes, read the email and respond and acknowledge the email. And in doing that, he really missed the train. And the last train is at 9 p.m. On that day, he really wished, he really wished to have a smart reply feature on his mobile wherein he can type and, and acknowledge the email while he on go. All right, that looks great. So, ladies and gentlemen, this huge case is all about how Google has implemented a smart reply feature that use artificial intelligence NLP and LSTM model to scan the email and suggest the best possible response that help the Gmail users to the need to avoid typing on their mobile. Number two, it, it helps to generate the diversified semantic responses that helps the user to use as a complete response model with a one just tap mobile response. And number three, that it's an end to end system for generating the short email response on the mobile. That's what Gmail and Google has done it. But let's understand what is the driver behind implementing this smart reply feature and what Google reveals that over 25% of the responses are less than 20, 25 tokens or even, even less than that. And, and one of the objective of the Google always to improve the, the mobile experience of the Gmail users. And that's the reason Google has built up this smart reply feature and rolled out for its 1.2 billion Gmail users and that is available for them to use the smart reply feature while they are on go. All right, great. So I believe you must be interested to know what is the architecture behind this entire model. So, so guys, this is built up on machine learning RNN model that is the recurrent neural network and LSTM model. LSTM is nothing but it's an NLP way of extracting the data. So let's understand how things works into this, into this entire smart reply feature. So this is built up on top of two RNN model. So on a pair of uh, RNN model, wherein the first one is the encode and the other one is the predict. So encode email used to consume the words from the email one by one and encode the entire, entire email uh, messages. So encoding is something that creates a vector after encoding the word by word from the email it creates vectors so vectors are nothing but it is called thought vectors from the diversified questionnaires it creates a very limited set of questions and it try to understand what is the intent so basically it creates the intent the other model the predict response model consumes the vectors consumes the intent and based on the intent it generates the the best possible responses based on the prediction. This is how it works. So let's better understand by the pictorial representation. The step one is the pre-processing. So don't worry about too much of jargons. We'll, we'll, we'll learn into the different session. 
but pre-processing is the process of cleansing and cleaning the data in order to make sure that the right data and the clean data is fedding into the machine learning model. Number two steps is here. If the trigger response, it's nothing but it's a feed-forward RNN model that actually decides whether to suggest the response or not. And in return, it improves the model in order to make sure that next time it's improving the model and generating the right response that will really help the user to use it. Number three is LSTM short term long memory. Don't worry about LSTM. Later on, we'll learn about what is LSTM. But at this moment, uh, you just need to understand LSTM is being used into NLP. It's a deep learning model and that is frequently being used into uh, RNN model. So LSTM model here actually creates the vector and and it generates the best possible responses. So basic use of response selection and response generation is consume the email, generate the vectors and understand the intent and then finally generate the response. And once response has been generated, then finally the diversified selection method, it's again RNN model that helps to select the diversified semantically sought response that make more sense to user. And this is how this is how the entire architecture works, though it's very small, but I will encourage you to understand and how this can be applied in your context. So let's move forward. What are the typical challenges quickly I'll cover. So of course, the language and content producing the quality and understanding always was a challenge for Google and producing the small responses, the biggest challenge. The number three is the biggest challenge that how can Google build a scalable architecture that helps them to solve the millions of their Gmail users and that is highly available and it's producing the right content. And last but not the least, maintaining the privacy because while building the RNN, what Google reveals that they, they, they made sure that none of the email data is being accessible to anybody to make sure that the privacy and it, nobody is able to spoof the data. So these are the challenges that is being faced while building this, this application. But nevertheless, this feature is available to its 1.4 billion Gmail users that they are using and available for response, smart response selection. So far, you learned a lot of things. Now understand in your business context where this can be applicable. I'm giving you few, few clues but I encourage you to think beyond that. Number one, it can be it can be applied on individual mail ID where based on the incoming emails, it can help you to produce the smart response. Number two, it can be applicable into help desk, IT help desk, customer care help desk or any kind of help desk from where it can consume the email message and, and select the right response set even based on the historical data and the same case for the front office. So individual help desk or front office email can be scanned and a machine learning model can be built up to scan the previous email and then select the right response along with the recommendation. This is all for today. So uh, these all courses are part of my intelligent automation strategic management for managers and especially I am helping the managers to to accelerate their career into field of machine learning and artificial intelligence and especially focusing on, on a strategy and, and consulting rather than much and much focusing on coding. So in case you are excited, probably you can join my next webinar and that will be really helpful to you. In case you like, please subscribe or comment below the video. Thanks for watching.